Hello, I'm Scruffy, and welcome to episode 2 of Playing Through Pikmin 4. In the previous episode, we began the game, uh, and we went through the prologue, where Captain Olimar crash-landed um, in the SS Dolphin. He sent out an SOS signal, and this rescue corps has come to rescue him, but they crash-landed as well. So the last recruit, uh, me, this, this custom character here, has to pick up the pieces. I've got to find the rescue team and Olimar. And so far, I've found the rescue pup, Ochi, and our communications expert, Colin. And through this hole here, underground, we will reconvene with the SS Shepherd, our mothership. So, uh, without further ado, I really want to see what it's like underground. <laughs> Burrow of Beginnings, sublevel one. Let's go. They're bringing back sublevels, and they fall into it just like they did in Pikmin Two. Oh boy. Hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Really. I'd be very lucky if, if I got three rescue officers out of the seven that I need in this one little area here. But, well, here's what it's like underground. It's like a dead end. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm admiring the, the foliage and the mushrooms here. And, uh, look, I appreciate that uh, they've done the thing that they did in Pikmin 2 and 3, where the walls of the cave kind of fade into black, and then just solid black is the background. And I like this because, like, it suggests that, uh, that, like, the walls continue, but for the, for the sake of player visibility, uh, this is all you can see. So, like, there might as well be a, a ceiling to this cave. It could be a very tight space. I've always really liked that about these caves and, and how they're designed that way. So, I'm glad to see that back. Not hearing any... any... thing besides ambient. Oh boy. Hold on, what... Those are... Wait, those are Bulbar lar larvae! Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh my! What a place to find the captain! The cap... that terrified you in... That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Scruffy. The captain comes from a long line of rescue... <laughs> Th this is no time for a history lesson! Hurry up and do something! <laughs> okay, yes. Those... They're bullboard larvae. I can't believe they brought them back! Okay, yeah, I... I know for a fact how... Yeah, how dangerous they can be, so... Good job, Ochi. <laughs> oh, gosh. Phew. Now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? <laughs> I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. Okay, I can do this. All right, there's our captain. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Shouldn't be I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. Oh, you! I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Scruffy? Huh. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Shepard, the captain, a 99th gen Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by her rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love of her furry colleagues. Perfect. Well, that's our captain back. 
Yeah, there's definitely some hope for us. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I came up upon those icky, slimy creatures. Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Scruffy. I thought I was a silent protagonist. Copy that is the rescue core way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? Copy that! Copy that. <laughs> Very good. Excellent reply. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. Okay. Oh! Ooh! Advice left by captains past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share will guide you well. Irma Shepard. Excellent. No. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Alright. Oh? Oh, can... Can Ochi rush now? Yeah! No? Can you? Hang on. You can do it, Ochi. There you go. <laughs> he got cold feet. That was quite a rush. Gosh. I, I'm still just enamored with the underground design here. This is only the first cave. Like, there, there's sub-levels. There's gonna be more types of cave. I, I can feel it. They're gonna do crazy stuff with the underground areas here. There! That's where I fell in. My hey. word. To think you survived the fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Uh, there's something under the light. It's probably- yeah! So that replaces geysers in Pikmin 2, I guess. You can break objects loose and break things on impact. Alright. And I guess that's the end of the, the first cave, just one sub-level. Excuse me, Scruffy. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. I completely agree, though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Oh! Cave conquered. Alright, Captain, the Rescue Corps flag has been officially planted. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during, during our search. So Noted! Let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done, Scruffy and Ochi. Uh, yeah, hang on. Colin deserves some respect here, too. He helped rescue the captain, and he planted the flag. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. <laughs> of course. What's going on? <laughs> you did it. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. All right. Much larger spaceship than you normally command in Pikmin. Is that s smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. 
the famous last words. Oh. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. Yeah. And that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. Wow. You're a hero, Colin. Oh. Will it be okay? Can you go? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine could be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. Aww. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. Well, hey. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. Oh, that's Scamp Olimar. After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have decided- I have deduced that they must contain Sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real-life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Number 31. Alright, so Sparklium is back. That's from Hey Pikmin. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparklium from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real-life treasures. I'm skeptical. But at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. I... <laughs> Anything for collecting treasures again. I'm... I'm ready. Sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. I'm down. Why not? <laughs> Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. Beagle. Shepherd Beagle. Uh, I guess they're... I suppose they're all dog names? Maybe they're all gonna be dog names? <laughs> we just need to find a good place for it to land. I guess it would make sense with like the rescue dog theme here. What's that over there? Ooh. It's so shiny. And laid out in a circle. Yeah, it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. All right, it's my landing spot. SS Beagle repositioning is successful. Good. Our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Okay. Treasure hunting time. Sparkly. Yeah. That works. And once again, more of these Pikmin 2 style like jingles when when we find stuff. It's bringing the, the it's bringing the nostalgia out is what I mean to say. Is this what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. Ooh. All right, rookie. Press plus to open the radar map. Yep, that's a star, all right. Presence of Sparklium confirmed. That star in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign. But uh, how are we going to move it? Hmm, well, yeah, I guess that's where Ochi comes in. You can at least dig it up. Oh! Oh, wait! You can just... Well, uh, yeah, I guess that checks out. Because <laughs> he can pull the root, and they can rush. So yeah, it stands to reason that they do, they also carry stuff. This treasure is large. How can something... F how can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how it's worked in other Pikmin games, so... A special light ray. 
I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. There's Paul. 50 already. Energy detected. Hey. If we can collect 250 more units of Sparkleum, we may be able to restart the SS Shepard. No. But the SS Shepard is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? Eh, you give it a couple kicks, it'll be fine. I believe we can get it to run on Sparklium alone, though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're gonna need a lot more. Oh, a then we need to search the area for more treasure. Nice. Treasure collected. Ooh! Okay, so one out of three. These are some dormant pellet posies if I've ever seen them. There's one. That is... That is a Game Boy, alright. <laughs> that's the same color that I used to have as well. That's... that's funny. The battery on this one is, lasts a lot longer than mine did. That was close. Too close. <laughs> How are we gonna transport this? Ochi? Yeah, it's too heavy for Ochi. Oh, I think I know how we're gonna... That's another beloved Pikmin motif there. <laughs> What's this? Is it a treasure? Oh, and this loop, that's also from Pikmin 2. It's just with arranged with different instruments. Like a bassoon. Well, I know what that is. We can... I guess we'll have Ochi dig it up. So... <laughs> oh, you're in for a rude awakening. That's not a treasure. <laughs> But that also... Wow, the onion looks different. It's almost like a... It kind of looks like a tomato or a berry. Yeah. I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? Looks like some kind of a plant. Could this be that thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? I'll show you what that sprout is, because we can pluck it. Oh. All right, I, I gotta, I gotta pause a moment, and because that was, how do I put it? It's like, it was kind of a, f not frivolous, but like an especially fun, and like kind of quirky way to introduce a Pikmin, which reminds me of uh, how they did it in Pikmin One, like you know that kind of bouncy music. And it's been making me think, like, the music that I've heard so far, it's especially, like, clear. It, like, it wears its heart on its sleeve, you know? It's, it's cartoonishly clear about the emotions. L like that moment that, uh, Shepard was, like, sidling down the, uh, the pole there, underground, to rejoin us. And the music kind of Mickey Moused her actions. Like, it, it's all very, uh sprightly and and fun and that's kind of new for Pikmin you know the, the music is sometimes taken kind of a backseat so it's a lot more prominent here so far uh, and the sounds I'm noticing that like some of the classic sounds like the whistle and the uh, plucking that Pikmin they've undergone a bit of a redesign 
or a, a refresh maybe um and like because you know the game is completely visually ref refreshed so that i get that makes sense and uh all that to say i'm i'm down to hear some more <laughs> so let's continue here according to captain olimar's voyage log they're friendly and helpful creatures well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. Oh, she doesn't look so happy to meet him. Ochi, look at that. Ochi's already bonding with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well, Scruffy. And, um, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? <laughs> okay. You can select Pikmin with L and R. Okay. So Ochi's like another kind of brand of Pikmin. Well, we're gonna need some more Pikmin, so... Thankfully, all the pellet posies have blossomed at once, it seems. That's good. Oh. This one's another classic loop from, like, a cutscene loop. First in Pikmin 2. More sprouts? That red seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. What a mysterious life form. Don't... Don't... <laughs> don't, don't call it that. Don't... That's a very specific thing from Pikmin 3. But, yeah, we should grow some more Pikmin here. We needed 10. Yeah, I'm hearing... There's some old Pikmin sounds, and then there's some new Pikmin sounds. The voices, I mean. And it's... <laughs> yeah, that's fascinating. Because for three games, we've had... Three mainline games, we've had Pikmin use pretty much the same voice lines. Some additions here and there. But now, like, the voice even sounds a little bit different. It's a lot of Pikmin. Not enough. Wait, no, it is enough. With Ochi, it's enough. Oh, here we go. I realized, yeah, I didn't need to rush Ochi to that. You can just send him. There you go. I'm learning. I, I, I'm learning. Let's get our Game Boy. Play some games. Ooh! There's another one. Bicycle Bell. Alright! New treasure. Worth 150 Sparklium. Oh! Boy. That one was part of a different collection then. We need to keep this up. If I know my tutorials, this ought to put us at 300 sparkling. We've got this! That's a nice bell. Just admiring the reflection on it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. We're sitting comfy at 300 sparkly, I'm, I'm guessing. You two make a fantastic combination, Scruffy and Ochi. Uh, once again, uh, copy that, but Colin deserves some cred here, too. You nailed it that time. Uh, of course, this isn't the right occasion for a copy that, but good effort, Scruffy. Okay, never mind. You, you don't deserve the credit. <laughs> the, ball. the Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Yeah, see? Nothing to be afraid of. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Okay. Ooh. Energy from the treasure will... That's... That's the end of day theme. 
I guess this is the end of our first day then. Ooh, it's like a... Oh, it's like a minimized version of that theme. Just a couple of pads and a lead here and there. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. Our Game Boy. <laughs> Our Bicycle Bell. And a fork. Two-pronged fork. All right. All right. We restarted the SS Shepherd using the sparkly I'm extracted from the treasure. Yep. We did it! The ship's back online! We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for more, uh, our misking, missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and let's see if we pick up any signals. There we go. Colin gets some credit. Mm, I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. And we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. Let's. All right. That went up to two. Our treasure count went up to three. Oh, they have names. Oh, perfect. Okay, I, I was, I was a little worried there when we were collecting them, because uh, it didn't give any indication that they had names, but. Naming the treasures is like one of the, for me, one of the most par charming parts of Pikmin. Uh, so I'm very glad that uh, the Noble Bident, the Stone of Advancement, and the Path Creator have names like this. And I'm sincerely hoping that they also have like descriptions to go with them, because uh, it, it's just... Little nuggets of information like that are one of my favorite things to, to collect. I know I'm a nerd, but... That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects? No. We encounter unknown objects and elements on our missions all the time, so I had a naming AI installed in our new ships. Apparently it was co-created by a famous appraiser? It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. That's got to be a callback to, uh, the, the ship na also named the treasures in Pikmin 2, so, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a fun little reference there. Yeah. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. Ah, I, I prefer the, the treasure naming, honestly. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepard. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I had been roughing it for long enough, and there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Scruffy. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Okay. Yeah, I guess... I mean, these missions are kind of intertwined, but... This is my main quest, and for now, this is the... The minor quest. Pussy. I see you, you've used a pin! Oh, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I guess you don't need me to tell you it's as easy as selecting a mission and press A to pin and unpin. New I commend your instincts. Pinning a mission is a great way to keep track of your objectives and progress. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that pinned for now, because... Well, that one has gone up to 1,500 now. That's good to know, but I don't have to pin it to keep track of it. Alright, that's, that's day one complete. Nice. 
All right, I guess this is everyone. I call this strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Scruffy. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepard is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar, has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Scruffy, Ochi, fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Don't worry. We'll be available via the SS Shepard's wireless communication at all times, so you'll have our full, our full support. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll, keep, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You, you two make a great team. <laughs> Come on. Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? No. We may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Copy that. Okay. So I also got to find Olimar in all this mess. And now... Ooh. Okay, they, they have things to say now. Ever since you started, your hard work has really saved us. You're the rising star of the Rescue Corps, that's for sure. When it comes to exploring uncharted planets, danger is just part of the job. Still, I have no doubt you'll manage. How can I be so certain? Because I have two eyes and I can see your potential plain as day. I hired you, didn't I? Thank you for the motivation, Shepard. And I am free to chat real quick, Colin. You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Now that we have, sort now that we have sorted that out, are you ready to get out of there and explore? Well, actually, seeing as I've uh, I've gone pretty close to 30 minutes now, I'm not sure I'm ready to explore quite yet. Um, hold on, hold that thought. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Yeah, it doesn't. We haven't started the day timer yet, which is interesting for day two, because we can still get Pikmin out. Huh. Oh, they've redone that like jaw harp sound effect when you when a menu option is denied. <laughs> so I guess this area is like a hub? Cause they're staying here. They have like dialogue options. This is kind of like the SS Drake in Pikmin 3, except like, I can also access my Pikmin, I can move around, and I can still talk with them. Yeah, okay. And I could just grow some more Pikmin be before I... before I actually get out and explore. That's pretty neat, actually. Little comfy little area. Alright, but, yeah, we'll, we'll grow a couple more Pikmin. I just love, like, they've redone all the little, like, greetings that the Pikmin do when you pluck them. And, like, the onion sounds different. Uh, the sounds when it produces sprouts are different. It's, like... You know, the, the music has been referencing all the older games um, in one way or another, but all the sound effects are so new. <laughs> Did Ochi just sneeze? And the, the Pikmin reacted to it? I, I... I'm too lost in my thoughts. I just... This game keeps hitting me with, like, nostalgia and then... It remixes something, and that's really fascinating, and it keeps doing both of those things, and I have a feeling that's not going to stop, but...
for now, I'm going to stop. Uh, and next time, we will venture into this, whatever this next area is going to be for day two. Um, and on that note, I, I guess I, I know it's been like mainly tutorial and a lot of talking, but hopefully it's, it's still been interesting because it's still all new to me and, uh, I'm, I'm ready for it. I, I love this stuff so far. <laughs> Yeah, it, Ochi is interacting with the Pikmin. Uh, little by little, like every time he does something idle. <laughs> that's, that's that's adorable. All right, but for now, uh, I'm gonna thank all of you for watching. I'm gonna thank my patrons on Patreon for supporting my work and uh, and making this possible, really. Um, and yeah. I will see you next time for some more exploration. All right. This is Scruffy signing off. Oh, and apparently a status report being installed. Great. <laughs> so, on that note, bye bye everyone.